So last week on this very channel, I did what I felt was a very important video asking a very important question. What if Alberto El Patron is innocent? And in that video, I didn't just come out and say he was innocent. I also, unlike a lot of other people, didn't just automatically come out and assume he was guilty. I pointed out that there's also a possibility that Paige could be guilty. However, not automatically assuming or stating that she was guilty. And if anybody gathers any of that after watching that video from last week, then you went into that with your own conclusions and no matter what I said, you were going to believe whatever you believed I said, and that's bullshit. But I come to expect that, especially when you deal with topics like domestic violence. This whole feminazization of this country and the way that we, you know, on the one hand, claim we want equality for women, and I'm all for it, but on the flip side, we only want equality when it's convenient. And we're very quick to sit there and buy into this whole woman victimization bullshit. Like men are the only ones that ever perpetrate domestic violence. Like men are the only ones that ever instigate domestic violence. They're the only ones that are the aggressors when it comes to domestic violence, which we all know is complete and total crap. Men know it and women know it. But yet as society, somehow we allow the media and other forces to guide us and dictate us down a certain path. So I ask a question. What if Alberto El Patron is innocent? And I thought it was a very important video because so many people were so quick to rush to judgment. Soon after that incident in the Orlando airport, they were already assuming that Paige was innocent, that she was the victim, that Alberto was guilty and he's evil, talking about how she needs help and she needs help getting away from him, that he's got her in an abusive situation. I heard crap like Stockholm Syndrome brought up. I heard crap about how he's trying to ruin her um, career with WWE. Basically, anything and everything from so many people on YouTube and on podcast demonizing Alberto without having anywhere near enough evidence or enough facts to be able to come to that conclusion one way or another. And I can't say I was surprised because I wasn't. And I felt like it was important to point out here that, you know, in this country, we're still technically supposed to believe in innocent until proven guilty, which usually applies for white people and sometimes for other non-white people, sometimes not. Sorry, don't agree. That's tough shit because that is the way that it is. But the rushing to conclusions based off of an audio tape that in no way, shape, or form could be conclusively viewed as evidence to who was an aggressor or not in the situation or who was guilty or not, and if anything, based off of what was actually said on the recording, would have indicated that potentially Paige was the aggressor and Alberto was potentially the victim. People were automatically assuming and rushing to judgment that Alberto was guilty. Then we've got an eyewitness testimony. One eyewitness. One eyewitness. And that's automatically going to do it. And again, not asking the questions of what did that eyewitness actually truly see? Did they actually see it? Or did they come in at a certain point and not get the proper and full complete context? And are they just trying to fill in the gaps themselves? You know, a lot of important questions. And some people on that video were down with what I was trying to say. And it was not just sitting there and trying to excuse AD Alberto and not saying he was innocent because I never said he was. I said, what if he was? And we shouldn't be too quick to rush to judgment. And we also shouldn't be too quick to rush to, rush to judgment, especially based off of some evidence we have seen that Paige is 100% innocent or that she is guilty. Now, of course, some of those that know that I'm not a big Paige fan automatically assume that it was just a way to bash her. And again, if you drew that out of that video, that's because you wanted to have your own bias out of it. At no point in time can you tell me that I said for sure that Paige was guilty or Alberto was innocent or that Alberto was guilty and Paige was innocent. You can't say that. But again, it comes down to people not listening, which again is no great surprise. So I ask a fundamental question now, and I think this is another important question to ask. On the flip side, what if Paige is guilty? Because it's amazing to me, as this recent report came from TMC talking about the Orlando police believe that there's enough evidence 
that it's actually Paige who should be charged with battery, meaning domestic violence, and not Alberto. It's been striking how quiet the wrestling media has been, wrestling social media has been, on this issue today in particular. Striking. Tragic. Not surprising. Not surprising at all. For all these people who were complaining that Alberto being suspended by Global Force Wrestling wasn't enough action, even though, again, not even knowing if the man was innocent or guilty, he's being suspended and potentially losing money, whatever the hell Global Force would be paying him. All the while, nobody asking the question, since they were technically involved in an incident and he's getting suspended here, why isn't Paige being suspended by the WWE? Nobody's asking that freaking question. Why? Because we're automatically programmed as a society, and we know this is true, that if it involves domestic violence, the man automatically has to be guilty, and the woman automatically has to be innocent. I mean, and it's just that simple. But what if Paige is guilty? You now have reports coming out saying that she may have very well been the aggressor. She may very well have been the instigator, the agitator. She may very well have been the abuser herself. She might have actually been the one to abuse Alberto El Patron. What if she's guilty? And again, I still believe in innocent until proven guilty. So I am not going to say that she is. I could have my belief on it, but I'm again not going to say it because it ultimately is not my place to say it. Unlike a lot of the other YouTubers and in particular podcasters who rushed to judgment and automatically wanted to draw conclusions that were very negative to Alberto and very positive to Paige, I'm going to try and be a little more fair and balanced whether people want to see it that way or not. And even with the reports of Paige uh, allegedly being the instigator or the aggressor, that doesn't necessarily mean that Alberto's innocent. He could be doing other bad things. He could be doing things that evoke those type of reactions out of her. He could abuse her at other times. I'm not saying he's innocent at all. I'm not. But I think it is a complete load of bullshit that... We had this whole incident, incident, but the guy is the one that gets suspended and the woman gets off scot-free. And don't give me, like somebody did in the last video, the page had a neck injury bullshit. Because if she went and robbed a store or robbed a bank, she would at least be suspended if not fired. Or if she was along with Alberto and he's the one that did it, she'd probably be suspended if not fired. So why in an instance like this do we automatically assume that she is innocent even with the WWE, I believe, does have a morals clause, which allows them potentially to suspend somebody in this type of case, even if they weren't necessarily convicted. What if she's guilty? How stupid are a lot of wrestling fans and a lot of wrestling media going to feel with the victimization picture that they painted for Paige and the demonization picture they painted for Alberto? You know what's going to happen. They're not going to say shit. They're not going to apologize for being wrong. They're not going to retract anything they said. They're not going to own up to anything they said. They're going to move on and talk about other shit because they're afraid of admitting they were wrong. They're afraid of admitting that they fell for societal bias. They're afraid of admitting that they got caught up in the bullshit. They're afraid of admitting that because they're so caught up in liking Paige, like she's not going to do a sex tape with you no matter how much you kiss her ass. I promise you. Or no matter how much they hate Alberto for one reason or the other, there's not going to be that equivalent fervor of defending him or that equivalent fervor of jumping to the conclusion that she's guilty. And what other evidence do I need than the reaction of the wrestling media and the reaction of wrestling social media? Because when you look at the news of the incident breaking and then when people thought that it was Alberto that was the instigator, the agitator, and the aggressor, you know what the reaction was. Look at the crickets you see by comparison for Paige. What if she's guilty? Like all these people that are trying to paint her out to be the victim. I'm not going to say what if he's the victim all the way, but he could be. The point is we don't know. And she has a history of putting herself in some potentially bad situations. Why do we automatically act like this woman who is now in her mid-20s is such an innocent victim? She could be bats. 
She could have real issues, or she could just be a dumbass. And frankly, both of them could be just dumbasses, even though he's 15 years older than her. And in that way, they might be good for each other because they're both fucking stupid. And when you look at it, sometimes you wonder if they're both fucking stupid. But what if Paige is guilty? We all know how this would play out. She'll get charged. He probably doesn't press or pursue the charges. They get dropped. And then we pretend like it's no big freaking deal. We pretend like it doesn't freaking happen. That's exactly what we do. And, and you know it's true. There's no calls right now for Paige to be suspended by the WWE, which again, people are calling for Alberto to be suspended and or fired, and there wasn't even any reports of him having charges pressed against him. Now that there are reports that Paige might have charges pushed against her, nobody's sitting there and pushing for her to be suspended and or terminated by the WWE, and that is bullshit. What if she's guilty? Shouldn't Alberto's suspension be immediately lifted? You know, and this whole thing of, well, she's the victim of abuse and we can clearly see this. I heard crap about Stockholm Syndrome and all this other hot garbage. You know, let's look at a couple of things. One, if her family had so much evidence of freaking abuse and had it for months, wasn't he the champion of her family's federation? Why the fuck would he be the champion there? That makes no sense. Furthermore, if the family had evidence of this alleged abuse that carried out months, why the hell hadn't it already been reported to police? And believe me, in today's world, that shit would have gotten leaked. We would have known if it was reported or not, period. Could it possibly be that that evidence doesn't exist? When everybody wants to paint Paige out to be the innocent victim because of the sex tapes being released, think about this. Who had the most to gain from those potentially being released? Was it somebody like a Brad Maddox or Xavier Woods or somebody else with an axe to grind? Maybe, maybe not. But what if Paige is the one that wants out of her WWE contract? What if Paige doesn't want to be with the company anymore? What if Paige wants her freedom to go somewhere else or go back to the UK or wherever the fuck she can go, wherever the hell, just get the hell out of that company? What if she's the one that released it? Because she wanted WWE to get so mad they were willing to release her, eat the remaining money on her downside guarantee, and not sit there and hold her to the full terms of the contract and just give her the basic 90-day no-compete clause and then she could go wherever the hell she wanted. When you really logically think about it, Paige would have potentially had more to win by releasing the sex tape than Brad Maddox. Some of you won't agree with me, but I don't give a shit. Because some of you didn't agree with me when asking the basic question, what if Alberto El Patron is innocent? And now for some of you, based off of the reporting right now, and it's still, there is evidence to be divulged still. We still need more facts, more evidence. But at this moment, there are quite a number of you that have fucking eggs on your face. To which I ask you, tell me, tell me, tell me how my ass tastes. So what if Paige is guilty? What does that mean? That means... That we're still going to see people try to blame it on Alberto. They're going to try and say he's the instigator. They're going to talk about how she has mental health issues. That she's been pushed to the brink. That he's created this abusive environment and blah, blah, blah. And all this other unverifiable, undocumented bullshit. What if she's guilty? For a lot of people, it's not going to be a big deal. Because it's not a man. And it's that simple. It's equality of convenience, not equality of consistency. And that's a shame. I don't know at this point in time if Alberto is innocent or guilty or Paige or is innocent or guilty. And I still believe even if one or both of them was charged in innocent until proven guilty. I know a novel concept. It's like it's supposed to be one of the fundamental tenets that our justice system is based off of. But what would I know? But I know what's going to happen if Paige is guilty. You're going to have a lot of people that will try to ignore it. A lot of people that will talk about it only in a way of, oh, it's not that bad. Or they will still try to blame Alberto for the whole shit and not holding Paige accountable or responsible for any of her freaking behaviors. Because again, she's 14, right? No, she's in her mid fucking 20s. She's a grown adult. Oh, she can't leave bullshit. You're telling me that she can't afford to live on her own on her WWE money? Give me a goddamn break. What a pathetic, pathetic defense mechanism that so many people have for this. What if she's guilty? Are you going to ask yourself why you were so quick to jump to conclusions 
that she had to be the innocent victim and he was the guilty one and he was the evil? Probably not. What if she's guilty? It's not going to fucking matter. Really. Because people are still going to believe that Alberto was the one that abused her. Or Alberto did things to create a situation where, not because of her own doing or because of her own actions or her own inability to control herself or her emotions, that Paige is guilty. No, that she is the innocent victim and she had enough and that she's lashing out. We're going to say, oh, it couldn't have been that serious. Then we're going to talk about, oh, she potentially just threw a drink on him and that's it. And it wasn't anything more. Or if he pushed her, come on, it's a woman. It's not that bad. But then if he hits her, then it's, oh my fucking God, he shouldn't do that. She's just a woman. But if she hits him 10 times, it's funny. He smacks her once and knocks her the fuck out because she came like a man and got treated like a man. Then again, he's the bad guy. The whole point is, what if Paige is guilty? It doesn't fucking matter. It should serve as a lesson to all, as a reminder, that domestic violence can go both ways. That it is not necessarily something to laugh and joke about. But it is not necessarily something that we should all just jump to rash, potentially illogical, non-factual conclusions about. We should not automatically assume the man is guilty. We should not automatically assume the woman is innocent. We should not automatically assume the woman is guilty, not automatically assume the man is innocent. But we know that's not what's going to happen. And for those of you that, you know, villainize Alberto so, so much... If you're somebody who blasted Alberto and assumed that Alberto was guilty and potentially still thinks does and thought that he should have been suspended and or fired, but you are a fan of Charlotte, then you are a fucking fail. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then look at the fuck up. You are what so many people are in this world, which is a fucking hypocrite. Because again, since it's a woman, it's not as bad. And our society teaches us that it's not as bad. And that's, again... The fundamental question. What if Alberto was innocent? It probably didn't matter because a lot of people are still going to think he was guilty or he caused the situation anyways. But what if Paige is innocent? Is innocent? Everybody probably already assumes that. What if Paige is guilty? Yeah, still got to be Alberto's fault. And if she did it, it's not that big of a deal because after all, she's just a woman, right? I hope if anything comes out of this, and it's not going to, we ask these important questions before we automatically jump to conclusions and we take a limited amount of evidence to justify our own biases, our own opinions to lead us down a path that might not even be the right one. Shame on so many of you for jumping to conclusions when even at this moment, we still don't know what happened, but so many people are going to act like they do.